Hello and uh, greetings from Iceland. I made the first draft for this video shortly after lunch yesterday because uh, I had just found uh, great news to share or the land uplift. It seems to have stopped and to make this as uh, simple as possible for my new viewers especially, the root of the problem has been magma coming up from a depth of 15 kilometers or so and uh, that goes back to 2020 when we got the first failed magma intrusion under the mountain Thorbjörn by Grindavík, the mountain that is just by the Blue Lagoon, and uh, after a few attempts, Mother Earth gave up on this uh, area, and her next step was to send us uh, three tourist eruptions on the nearby mountain Faradalsjall, and uh, after that uh, chapter, the seismic activity moved back to Mount Thorbjörn in October last year, and it was no matter how Mother Earth tried, she only managed to... Uh, form a little magma sill by Svartsengi, almost under the Blue Lagoon, and a magma sill is not a magma chamber, it's not a continuous body of magma, it's more like uh, layers of magma squeezed in between uh, ground layers at uh, 5 to 7 km depth, and that magma sill is the root of everything that went wrong since November 10th, although this is also a story about the tectonic forces. But uh, I'm not going so deep. The worst event was on November 10th when the pressure split the ground under the town, formed a magma dike and uh, left the towns in ruins. Then we got three eruptions. One of them formed uh, another depression valley under the town. Then we got uh, a failed magma intrusion just three weeks ago. And now we are looking at eruption number seven. For the first time since this uh, started by Grindavík, there seems to be a direct pathway open from the lower magma chamber that uh, runs through this sill that uh, isn't this obstacle now that it used to be. The magma there won't be pressurizing like a ticking time bomb every few weeks. The magma just uh, runs through and uh, the land uplift is uh, over, at least for now. So what we have is an eruption that is just calm and uh, easy going tourist eruption, just like the eruptions that occurred on Mount Faradalsjall. This is something that is uh, in balance. We know where the lava is heading. The town has already been protected. So around uh, 3 o'clock yesterday in the afternoon, I was looking at a wonderful day. That is uh, until I got the news that uh, the lava barrier design might not hold a lava pond that uh, took off from higher ground, close to those uh, active craters. And uh, we were suddenly faced with the fact that uh, lava might come uh, crawling over those barriers from where it's only 800 meters uh, distance to the first houses. So uh, I took a deep breath yesterday. The webcams didn't uh, do much for me due to uh, weather and there is uh, an Icelandic fellow called Isaac that has this fine uh, FPV channel and he happened to be flying around yesterday and I'm linking to that video because things got uh, quite hectic for a while. So my plans to uh, upload uh, last night went out the window, but the draft went from optimism to uh, a total disaster in just a few hours. So I decided to give this video a bit more time, and uh, last night the trucks were called in with the task to make those lava barriers higher, just around the corner here. And from the map it uh, looks like this. This is where the still active craters are. The bulk of the lava seems to be around here, but it is this corner that has been so hard to deal with uh, right now. And what this map doesn't show fully is a topography, but the lava from January is actually showing uh, what we are dealing with. There is a little depression in the land there, meaning that uh, if the lava comes crawling over this wall, it would go this way, straight uh, to the harbor, but first it would have to go through a new residential area, just about where the houses burned in January. So uh, those truckers who were there last night, they were the heroes of the day. And uh, this is a clip from uh, the TV news yesterday, where those guys were making uh, a new road over the road that got submerged with lava last weekend. And this is what we call a hot job, or as one of the truckers said in the TV, when the truck windows are getting a bit warm, it's uh, time to back out for a while. But uh, then they come back. And the truckers had another problem yesterday when the lava flooded into a quarry where uh, they had been uh, 
getting a gravel for the lava barriers. I know they are trying to work around it today. So yesterday was one of those uh, emotional roller coasters. Since um, for a while it looked as if lava barriers wouldn't uh, divert the lava down to the sea and the eruption is still ongoing. While uh, more and more experts are saying that uh, we could be looking at a long eruption, weeks, even months. So with the barriers not functioning after the first week, that is uh, not what we needed. And it would be a huge shock to lose the battle for the town now. Not to mention the harbor. The harbor is the only thing that keeps the town uh, living for some part now. It's through the harbor that we have uh, some kind of hope for some kind of future for the town. A town like this that was built on a fish industry, it both uh, starts and ends by the harbor. But uh, right now, I have a bit better feeling about this. Especially since those news about the land uplift coming to an end could mean that this magma influx from deep down can just uh, go on until there is nothing left there and uh, no magma seal in between pressurizing and uh, giving us a hard time every few weeks. So there might be a chance that uh, when this uh, eruption is over that we can close this chapter by Grindavík, hopefully for a long time. I know it's a bit of uh, visual thinking, although it might very well be the case, judging from the most recent scientific data. But uh, as for me, I have little by little been uh, recovering from my flu. I'm not uh, fully back, as you can hear from my voice, but this is all moving into the right direction. And there are a few craters by Grindavík now throwing up some of the red stuff. Plus there are uh, lots of other changes in the landscape that I would like to document. So after this upload, I'm going to put my focus on uh, a short trip to the Reykjanes Peninsula. So I will be checking all my batteries tonight, do uh, flight plans for the drone, see what restrictions I have to deal with. But overall, just uh, do a good filming plan in uh, order to uh, capture the big picture. And uh, I want to thank my channel supporters for making those travels uh, way easier than they would else be. I think I've been away from home close to six weeks since November, or just to follow up on this chapter by Grindavík. And this is also a good time to say thanks to all subscribers for just sticking around. I didn't realize how deeply involved many of you were until I saw all the messages during the days when I was offline due to flu. I don't want my viewers to get worried if it so happens that my upload plans fail for some reason. I need to uh, take some time now to work out a platform where I can place photos and information from my travels between my uploads. So feel free to come up with suggestions. I should have done this earlier, but since November, this uh, unrest on the Reykjanes Peninsula has taken over a big part of my life. And uh, I found it hard to work on uh, the framework of my channel like uh, I had uh, planned to do for some time. But uh, I do, however, believe that uh, we might be entering a new chapter now in this long story, hopefully a better chapter, and uh, only time will tell if uh, we are indeed looking at the beginning of the end of this uh, series of events since uh, last November. And uh, until my next uh, upload, I'm sending you best regards from the Volcano Island, Hi, Eastland.